from the sunshine in Florida to the sunshine here in California. And what better place to bring our show on the road once again than the iconic LA Memorial Coliseum right here in Los Angeles, California for our first fan fest in nearly two years. I'm standing right here on the plaza, which will be packed full of fans tomorrow. Today, though, it is a little bit of a building site. I'm going to be honest, we're still building the fan fest. So I'm going to take you on a tour to sort of show you what's being done and what to expect over the course of the next two days. First things first, my camera over here, Kenton, I'm going to ask Kenton just to show you the main stage. That's over there. That's where much of the broadcast or most of the broadcast will take place from when we're not going around talking to the fans and doing our interviews. Over here on that yellow plinth is where the Premier League trophy will be. It's come all the way across the ocean to join us, as it always does. It'll have its light blue ribbons on it of Manchester City, of course. So you can have your picture taken with that. Big screens, there's one. We've got five around our venue for everybody to enjoy. And you know that 10 Eastern window when there are tons of games going on. Everybody wants to pick a different game. They can. They can pick a different big screen. Now, we've got tons of activations as well. This is one of them. Big soccer ball in the middle. And then a picture from every Premier League club. You can have your photo taken with whoever you want. You've got Harry Kane, you've got Mikel Antonio, Ben Mee as well. Or you can have your picture taken with Kevin De Bruyne and Robbie Musso. Look who I see here. Robbie, here we are. Again, another fan fest in the sun. How lucky are we? We've had some great times, let's be honest. Give us your favourite, Robbie Musso. Rebecca, it's the city that my family moved to 16 years ago, the city that my boys graduated from university, and to be living there, you've got to be a Red Sox fan, and to watch so many games at Fenway Park, some big games, and to sit in the Green Monster watching those games, and to broadcast from the top of the Green Monster probably was my highlight of so many great times I've had in the Fan Fest. Brilliant. Robbie, go to the main stage. I will meet you there in just Got a it. tick. It's interesting because Robbie says we were there at Fenway Park in Boston outside a real sporting venue. And of course, here we are outside the Coliseum and you can see the history just seeps from every single brick. It was built in the 1920s, 1923, in fact. It's really, it's a memorial as well, a tribute to all those who fought in the First World War. It was built five years after the end of the First World War and it's home to the USC football team. It's been home to two Super Bowls, Super Bowl one, Super Bowl seven. It's the only venue, by the way, that's been home to two Olympic Games, 1932 and 1984, and it'll host 2028. But look who I found here at the Barclays activation. Now, Robbie L, this is going to be a Barclays claw. Barclays yeah. is sponsoring our whole event. So a huge thank you to them. The claw's not yet in, but just tell us when the claw goes in. The is it like one in. of those fat, like, fairgrounds? It's one of those fairgrounds. There's a golden ball, and if you can get the claw to take the golden ball out, you will win tickets to the final game in the Premier League season. I mean, that's big, big stuff. That's much better than a stuffed <laughs> animal. OK, Robbie L, your mm. favourite fan fest moment, please, over the course well, of the Well, they years. say everything's done bigger in Austin, and it was a shall I Sean time moment, but the crowd surfing was crazy gang style. I, I jumped in there and I have to admit that was something special. On a mechanical ball with my friend Mr. Musto was up there as well, but crowd surfing. Come on, doesn't get better. Robbie, I'll never forget that moment, I have to say. When Robbie Musso decided to jump in he with you. He jumped in as well. The two Robbies crowd surfing. It was magnificent. I know you've got some surprises for us over the course of the next mm -hmm. two days. You head up to the main stage, Rob, and I will be with you in just a tick because I've got a little bit more of the tour to bring you. So it's quite a big area, actually, this plaza outside the Coliseum where everybody will gather. To my right here, they're not there yet. Well, one is kind of there, but this is going to be an art installation. This is going to be 20 skateboards, all depicting the 20 different Premier League clubs. It's a really nice sort of feature here on the right hand side next to that these are the ladies who are with us for every fan fest this is the airbrush tattoo station hello ladies getting ready and of course tim howard uh, i think might be the only person who hasn't got any space left for any more tattoos i'll be amazed if we see him there but you can get your premier league crest you can get the logo panini this is being built right now panini stickers are massive in the uk i think they're also very big here in the us not only can you trade a panini sticker or you can get some more but you can also have your own photo taken and made into your very own panini sticker now that is limited edition big big thank you by the way to all 20 premier league clubs because to my right here under the purple tent is the most probably most popular area of fan fest this is the merchandise sent over to us by our 20 premier league clubs all free and people like to get into the queue for this let me tell you that now what's one of the other great things about watching football well it has to be what you're going to eat and drink you know how us on the show love our beans on toast on a sunday i can't offer you beans on toast if you come down which i know is really disappointing to a lot of people i can 
Fernando offer you? The two Robbie's veggie wrap. I could offer you a bend it like breakfast burrito bowl or a Rebecca Loga parfait. I see what they did there. It's nice. This is where you can get hungry and full and feel like you're really part of this fan fest when you get your meal and you head towards a big screen uh, to watch whatever game you want to watch. So that's going to be absolutely packed. It always is. We're on the West Coast, let's not forget. That means, as all of you who watch us from the West Coast every, every week know, that alarm clock goes off early, right? Well, mine's gonna go off at half past 12, I think, tomorrow morning. But the fans who come down to FanFest know that they are allowed in from 3.30 a.m. And let me tell you, my experience of FanFests, oh, they turn up. Sometimes they're in the line at midnight. I'm not actually sure many go to bed. Okay, to my left, our friends from Peacock are setting up an activation. I think the kids are gonna love this one. You get a soccer ball, you have a go at aiming it through the small, medium and large holes. If you do it, you get yourself some Peacock goodies. So I was saying about the queues, when people arrive 3.30 in the morning, pitch black, the coffee's going to be uh, on offer, I think, and needed. Um, and everyone is going to line up behind this big black fence. They're going to come through the entryway and they're going to find this wonderful, huge sign, Premier League, lights, camera, action. They're going to have their photo taken. <gasps> And look who I found, now a yes. member of our team. Because before, when we were in Austin, you weren't on our team yet. Now you are. You're with us. You're with us for FanFest, your very first one as part of our team. Tim, how much are you looking forward to it? Well, so i got to get on some of these activations. I want to score, score a few goals, dive around, pick up the golden ball. Uh, but it's me and you again. In Austin, we're up on stage. We saw all the fans. Finally, the fans are back. They are everything. They make the Premier League what it is. They absolutely do. I think there's going to be a lot of kids out there who are going to drag you into that Nike pitch, make you I'm here for save it. some penalties. I'm here. I jack in, it in off. In the suit. Jack it off, dive around. That's what it's here for. I think we're all here for that. Tim Howard, I will see you up on the stage in just a tick. I just want to show everybody at home what else we've got on offer. There's a whole nother section. Kenton is showing it to you right now. The other side of this plaza, another big screen where people can gather with those coffees, with those yogurt parfaits, with those breakfast burritos as well. We've got an on her turf activation. We've got a spinning the wheel game as well. If you spin the wheel and you're lucky enough, you will win yourself a limited edition Fan Fest shirt. It all starts tomorrow. Today is the eve of Premier League Mornings Live. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.